when that water comes in, it changes everything. It just kept dumping rain for hours and for days. It was heart-wrenching. It rose overnight very quickly. <laughs> it's pretty mind-boggling in, in more ways than one. Uh, it was a pretty emotional moment, to say the least. People are worried about their families and their loved ones, and so I started thinking about how could I help with this. The Office of Emergency Management is calling on owners of any powered watercraft in Greater Houston to assist in the rescue of those trapped in flooded areas. When we woke up that morning, we discovered that we are an island. All the major highways, all the major roadways were underwater. The only way we could talk to each other was mainly through social media. And so we created a Facebook group called the Fairfield Relief Efforts. My brother actually saw something on Facebook saying that we need all the help we can get. Any flat bottom boat or, or shallow water boat that, that can come assist. We just kind of looked at each other and, and the rest is history. We got home and loaded up the boat and headed up that way. There was a line of people just wanting to give, to either go do rescues, to donate, anything to help the others. It was so overwhelming, the amount of people wanting to support us. We had well over 200 plus volunteers and we rescued over 125 people. We got in touch with Delmar and you know we asked, is there anything we can do? Do you need help or anything like that? We took him back to his house and he was able to save a few things. Austin came up here and helped me pick everything up. They are examples to everybody in this county. They take helping people to a new level. Our son's kindergarten teacher, she posted online that her in-laws needed to be rescued, that their neighborhood was flooding really fast and they needed somebody to come down and get them. Krisha right away messaged me and then they went and rescued my in-laws. My particular vehicle has a snorkel on it, so it's able to go into waters a little deeper than normal. There were road closures everywhere, and their neighborhood was completely underwater. To get from point A to point B, we're navigating around people in canoes and boats. When we finally got the family back here to dry ground, if you will, here Ms. Bruin, she says, thank you, how can we repay you? It's like, listen, you taught my kid how to read. It's fine, <laughs> we're good. Houston is such an incredibly large city with so many people from various backgrounds, but it didn't matter. People came together to help each other. I was in constant awe of my neighbors, of my entire community. I just got chills now. <laughs> when people are in need, it's just an instinct that kicks in. I was just one small part of a community. Everybody pitched in. I mean, it was a group effort. And I've grown up in Texas, so I know what people are like here, and they're pretty awesome. We're pretty good at taking care of each other.